Laparoscopic sigmoidectomy for colorectal cancer in situs inverses, a technical challenge. Clinical case, a patient 61 years old, female, obese. Diarrhea and weight loss six months ago referred to our service with a diagnosis of sigmoid adenocarcinoma. Comorbites, situs inversus totalis, cartagener syndrome, hiatal hernia. Clinical staging CT3N0M0. We now see a CT scan in a coronal section, revealing situs inversus totalis, demonstrating dextrocardia, the liver on the left, and a tumor in the sigmoid colon on the right side of the patient. The patient is positioned in the Lloyd Davies position. As you can see in this schematic image, the surgeon operates on the opposite side of the usual, positioning themselves to the left of the patient, with the monitor on the right side. According to the image, the trocars are mirrored, with a 12mm trocar in the left iliac fossa to allow for the passage of the linear stapler. Upon entering the abdominal cavity, we can confirm situs inversus through the mirror image, with the liver on the left side, the diaphragmatic hiatus and the stomach greater curvature on the right side of the patient. Situs inversus is associated with other anatomical variations known as visceral heterotaxia, as demonstrated in the image. Special care should be taken to identify the key structures for the operation. The greater curvature of the stomach is used as a reference point to locate the greater omentum and the transverse colon. The greater omentum should be lifted to identify the transverse colon. Finding the angle of trites can be challenging due to the possibilities of anatomical variations. The surgeon must rise the transverse colon and hold it up, to more easily identify the angle of trites. This is a key strategy to accurately locate anatomical structures and perform surgery in situs inversus. In this case, confirming situs inversus totalis, the duodenojejunal flexure, angle of trites, and the mesenteric vein were on the right side in a mirrored image. After identifying the angle of trites, the surgery follows the usual oncologic principles of sigmoidectomy. The visceral peritoneum is opened below the vein, and dissection is initiated from left to right, inverted in relation to conventional sigmoidectomy. Upon entering the omental bursa, note that we can see the pancreas in mirror image with the tail pointing to the right side of the patient. We continue with the dissection and ligation of the inferior mesenteric vein. The dissection of the splenic flexure must be done with caution, taking into consideration possible anatomical variations such as polysplenia. After releasing the splenic flexure and separating the mesocolon from the retroperitoneum, we can see the right-sided sigmoid, the right garrotis fascia, and the pancreas below, in a mirror image. In order to ensure proper lymphadenectomy, the inferior mesenteric artery is dissected and ligated at its origin. The Toltz line is dissected cranially to caudally until the peritoneal reflection is reached. At this point, we identify the iliac artery, the ureter, and the right gonadal vessels. Caution must be exercised, as anatomical variations may be encountered. The rectum is dissected and prepared for section. The distal division is performed using a linear stapler inserted through the 12 mm trocar positioned in the left iliac fossa. The sigmoid colon is then completely liberated, and despite the inverted image, every effort is focused on preserving vital structures. Then, a pfannon steel incision is made to extract the specimen. A purse string suture is then performed, followed by proximal division. The anvil is introduced into the intestinal lumen, and the specimen is returned to the abdominal cavity, followed by the closure of the aponeurosis. Returning to laparoscopy, the 29 mm circular mechanical anastomosis is performed intracorporeally. A leak test with air insufflation is performed, which was negative. The cavity is drained. We can see the final aspect of the patient and the surgical specimen. The final staging was 0.3 N1B, showing a moderately differentiated adenocarcinoma, with metastasis in 2 out of 21 dissected lymph nodes.